Hi, I'm Charlene Renee, and I'm here tonight performing at the score at Shoreditch House, and I can't wait to get up on stage. So thank you for having me here, and tune in later to see me live. They run up in the club acting like they own it Spending all their money like they want to get to know you Rich boys, seems kind of likely You only need to borrow a minute or two It don't need no education Cause he gon' get it, cause he gon' get it He won't need no explanation Cause he gon' get it Joining me on my sofa of doom this evening, it's Rena Fever in the house. Hello, Charlene. Rena, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, the sofa of doom. It's quite comfortable. I won't call it, it is. the sofa of doom. Well, you can just fall into its leather luxuriousness. Yeah, it's like great, it. nice. It's very comfortable. You look, you, well, you look very well in it, thank I must you. admit. Thank you. <laughs> so, you're going to be performing tonight, is that right? Yes. First at the squad? I'm really excited. This is my first time performing in East London. And to start at Shoreditch House is like, you know, you can't get much better than that. So I'm really excited. Yes. Really, really excited about tonight. Fantastic. Now, um, a little bird tells me that you actually have a new single on the board. Yes. Um, it's called High Roller. And we just finished shooting the video. It's going to be quite epic. Um, we've got like an amazing one piece outfit and there's a whole story to it. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited about getting that out. And um, that should be, I mean, I don't want to put um, an exact time on it, but it should be in the next few months, so watch out. Oh, yeah. Every time I look at you, just one thing comes into my mind. Thinking that I'm innocent, but knowing that I'm turning black. I don't know you're talking, that your talent, you're there's bad and lie. People come into me asking questions about your private life. I don't need your money, I need your love. is really important these days is a communication with your fan base and to build a fan base yourself absolutely I mean um, and that's what is important to me I communicate with my fans every day and at the end of the day these are the people who are buying my music and these are the people who are buying into me mm. so I just get firsthand what they like what they don't like put like snippets of music when I've done it in the studio to see what they're saying because you know they're the people you have to please and I'm not trying to please anyone else but my fans that's absolutely so, very admirable it's really yeah. good but I sometimes feel um, a lot of artists and, and sometimes some musicians who do Twitter and Facebook all the time, sometimes it, it becomes a bit more intimate and you just think, well, you know, the reason, reason for some, you know, yeah. the reason you like Madonna is yeah. because she's slightly unattainable, yeah. do you know what I mean? If, if you were reading yeah. her updates every five seconds, maybe. I think you've got to start out like that yeah. and I think music's come such a long way from the days of Madonna and Michael Jackson and you know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing stars are more accessible I don't think it makes you any less of a star because you are so accessible oh, yeah. so um, no I think I'll always I mean as long as I can I will always try and do it and obviously even now I'm getting busier and busier and I am finding it harder and harder to communicate with every single person who treats me mm. but as, as, as much as I can I'll always do it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living in you, 
but you listed as most of your icons were huge divas and also obviously i'm a fan of the diva <laughs> who isn't um but would you would you sometimes uh, describe yourself would you ever have, have any diva-esque moments do you think my manager's list <laughs> <laughs> oh dear is that the wrong question i don't know no, i'm not no, do you know what it's i think diva these days have been has been given a real sort of negative word and, i don't think so and well to some people whenever you say she's a diva they're like oh but no yeah, yeah. I, I like think of myself a diva but in a positive way yeah definitely um, you know when i walk into the room i like to come on the room not in a bad way but you know make sure everyone knows i'm there and i've i've entered but still be very pleasant Thanks. and very thankful and that is what a diva should be yes. i do believe don't feel so bad, girl.